Hi, I'm Misty Hyman here at the Marriott U.S. Masters National Championships. And I found Rowdy Gaines. You've been here all week for the U.S. Olympic Trials, and now you're here at the Masters. What do you think of this? Misty, it's incredible. This place is amazing. The people of Omaha have been wonderful. And, and I tell you, as, as exciting as the Olympic Trials was, and you know what the Trials is like. It's crazy. It's so much pressure. I'm equally excited about Masters because I am part of that family and to be able to come back and swim in the trials pool where some of the greatest swimmers in the world swam in is pretty cool. I've been to a lot of pools and we've been to a lot of different championships all over the country and the world and, and without a doubt this is the most fantastic setup that I've ever been to in my life. In fact, when we were finished with the NBC broadcast, my producer came to me and Mike Unger who kind of heads the whole thing up with USA Swimming said, we've got to come back here in 2016. It's the only logical place to come to. I absolutely agree and actually I got to take a tour of the pool wow. and uh, so let's take a look at that now. This is incredible. Last week I watched from the stands as Michael Phelps, Ryan Lochte, Missy Franklin and so many more made history at the U.S. Swimming Olympic Trials. I'm here in the CenturyLink Center in Omaha, Nebraska, swimming capital of the world for these two weeks. And us master swimmers, we're going to get to try out this pool. It's going to be amazing. Now let's take a look at these blocks. These are incredible. They're made by Mirtha, the same company that makes the pool. And they have this fancy little fin on the back that you can actually adjust so you can decide where you'd like your back foot to push off. It also has a sensor on the main part of the block that measures your reaction time. So all the swimmers this week will know how long it took them to get off the blocks. Maybe we all would rather not know. <laughs> now, you may think this is a temporary pool and a bulkhead, but these blocks are not going anywhere. They are very solid, secure into this bulkhead. And the interesting thing is that also on the backstroke start, there are several different options for the swimmers to put their hands. There's a top handle, a lower handle. You can even put your hands on the side. So whatever you like to do for your backstroke start, it's available to you. I wish they had blocks like this when I was swimming. These master swimmers are in for a real treat because we have the exact same Omega timing system that was used just last week for the U.S. Olympic Trials. We've got the FINA touch pads, and the coolest part about this is that you're actually not going to see any timers on the pool deck because the backup timers are the Omega cameras that are right there above the starting blocks. Mirtha is known for their state-of-the-art pools, and this one is no exception. This is the top of the line for the best swimmers in our country. Now, the pool is two and a half meters deep to cut down on the turbulence and the waves from the swimmers that would slow them down. Now, they also have this great gutter that will absorb any overflow, so rather than bouncing back into the pool to slow down the athletes, it'll go straight down into the gutter, and this gutter is even with the pool level. Now, we'll take a look across the pool at the lane lines. They are gigantic. Those do a lot to cut down on the waves while the swimmers are swimming. Fewer waves mean faster swims. And so I know I can't wait to race in this pool. This is Kevin McGrath, president and CEO of Mirtha Pools, the mastermind behind this amazing facility. Now, I heard something fascinating to me. It only took seven days to build both pools? That's correct. It, uh, we actually were allocated 10 days. Uh, but uh, I think a lot of our planning and uh, rehearsing and a little bit of good luck, we were able to get it uh, completed in seven days and we filled on the eighth day. Tell me, what do you attribute the speed and the efficiency of this pool to? Well, it's a lot has to do with our technology. We use engineering uh, and science to uh, really design what we think is the fastest pool. In fact, I know this is the fastest pool on the planet right now. 94% of all world records in the last 12 years are in our pools, so. That is an amazing statistic. It is. Well, uh, congratulations to you, and uh, I know us master swimmers can't wait to try it out. <laughs> now I'm on deck with meet director Tom Boak. How does it feel to have the Marriott U.S. Masters National Championships at this pool where they just had the U.S. Olympic Trials? It's really pretty overwhelming. I mean, just standing here right now, I'm getting chills just even answering your question. I agree. I can't wait to get in the pool and swim a couple 50s. <laughs> what does this mean for U.S. Masters swimming? 
I think it's a chance to piggyback on something we've never had a chance to deal with before, but the chance to swim in, in this pool uh, so quickly after the Olympic trials were held, I think is a really an amazing experience for our athletes. And certainly the, the number of attendees uh, would prove that people are really interested in being here and uh, having a chance to just take part in, in what is a fabulous event for people in the United States. This is a once in a lifetime experience that we're fortunate enough that USA Swimming wanted to partner with with USMS to have us come in after their meet and Martha Pools is a wonderful sponsor of USMS and allowed us to have this meet. This is a wonderful experience. We have alumni that were on the Olympic team and national teams that are competing in our event. We have six swimmers that competed in Olympic trials and now they're going to compete in our nationals. So it's a wonderful experience for everybody. Well, this is the best thing that's ever happened to Nebraska Masters because we were not a very large group. We've almost doubled in size. The most swimmers we've ever taken to a national meet is probably 20. We have 166. For me, swimming is like the best thing in the world. I'm the biggest cheerleader that ever lived for swimming. So this event has put Nebraska Masters swimming in everyone's front of their mind. And so we've had all of these people coming out who have never swum before. They've never been in a meet before. It's just awesome. So many people came together to make this event possible. We're getting ready to do a clinic, and we can't wait. And then after that, unfortunately, Rowdy, you have to take off. You have a busy summer with the Olympics and everything. We're sorry we'll miss you. But uh, do you think that master swimming has really come of age now that we're here? I don't think there's any doubt about it, Misty. When you look at what we're doing here in Omaha and where we're at, coming right on the heels of the Olympic trials, and to have uh, some of the greatest master swimmers in our country come here it's killing me not to be here. It really is. And, and as you know, the Olympic summer is a very busy summer, and I wish I could swim. I've been swimming. I've been swimming. Shoot, I swim six days a week, so I'm ready to go. But because of its whirlwind summer, I've been here for the last couple of weeks. I need to go home and spend some time with the family before I head over to London. Uh, but I am so proud to be a part of this Masters family. I always have been. I'm here to stay. I'm 53 years old. Don't tell anybody. Uh, I'm right in the middle of my age group, so it's a little tough, but I know I'll be in Indy in the spring and Mission Viejo next summer as well. Well, we'll look forward to that, Rowdy, and good luck in London. We'll be listening for you on the commentary, and we're excited for you and have a great time. Thank you, Misty. Yeah.